Hey guys, so I'm quickly gonna go over how to make uh, your own homemade sunblock. Uh, I'm coming out with my own store on Etsy. Uh, I used to have my own skincare line about 15 years ago when I first learned about shea butter, um, oils and body butters and stuff like that. And then I figured, let me make my own stuff because it seems pretty natural. Like why am I gonna go and spend $15 on something that I can make for five, right? And then it lasts longer and then I can customize it to the way that I want it. So then I started selling my products online on eBay and it went well, but um, back then I didn't know how to um, ship it overseas or ship it to warm climates. So my body butters were turned into oils. They didn't stay with the consistency. I stood it in the winter so it worked out for like northern states and stuff like that, but I couldn't get it to stay solid, so I gave up. But something keeps calling me back, so now I'm just doing it for myself, but then everybody's asking me to make it for them. So I'm like, all right, let me just make it for everyone. <laughs> um, and then I decided to just start my store so people could just pay me and I'm gonna, you know, in, in expand the brand later. But the products that I make have um, an expiration life. There is no date because I don't know how long it's gonna last. It depends on where you live. Um, the heat in your, where you are, if you're gonna keep it in the fridge, if you're not, they're all natural products. Most of them don't expire. Like what I'm using right now, which is pure shea butter, 100% pure shea butter. I got the white one. Um, then I'm using citronella oil. I used one capful of this, but it smells so bad because I want it to be an insect repellent and to be um, a sunblock. But I'm, I'm starting to recommend not to do this. I think I'm just gonna use a citronella oil when we're outside and we're having a barbecue. And I just put this on top of like a, a candle so that the citronella oil actually burns and it keeps the bugs away, but I really don't like the smell of it. It's just my personal preference. Then I put peppermint oil because I prefer the smell of peppermint oil. Next time I'm just gonna make it with peppermint oil. You can use rose and geranium, that's it. Those are the ones that repel bugs. Everything else is gonna attract them. So I wouldn't do that. If you don't want any scents or you're not into essential oils, then you can just use, I use rice bran oil, which is a natural um, sunblock in, in itself. Then I used coconut oil, which I used this one, but you don't have to use the one that I used. It's organic virgin coconut oil um, because it also brings some solidity to it. And then I used some shea butter. Now, I try to use more shea butter and coconut oil than the rice grain oil. There really is no, for me, there, I don't measure things. I just kind of like go with it. Um, and I just put that in there. I melted the shea butter, put it in here, melted. I mean, the coconut oil was already melted because it's hot. And then the rice grain oil is already a liquid. Um, I put it in an ice bath. Let me just show you. Because it helps it solidify. It's just ice and water. That's it. And then you put this, so it's like a double boiler but with cold. And then I use some zinc oxide, which is powder. You could buy this on eBay. Um, I got it from Aroma Depot. Okay. So now it looks like this. I started blending it a little bit. And I left it in here for a while so that it can get a little bit more solid. And now I'm gonna start blending it more. So let me just put this here and lower this so you guys can see. So as you can see, the parts on the bottom start to get solid quickly because they're the ones that are touching the cold water. So now you wanna mix it all together and make it into like a cream. And it starts to whip like a body butter. This is essentially how you make body butter too. And how you make whipped cream, if you have heavy cream. So it depends on the consistency that you want. I'm gonna try and make it as thick and buttery as possible and put it in a container. See, I was gonna originally put it in this container, which was my one bottle, with this, to kind of like pour it out, because in the, I figure with the heat right now, it's so hot that it's gonna melt anyway into an oil. But now that it's turning into this consistency, I'm thinking of putting it in a, like a jug or a jar. Um, so I'm debating, I might put some of it in there so I can take it with me in the car whenever I need it and then the rest in like a, a jar. You see it whipping? Make sure 
to go all around because remember it's solidifying near the bottom of the bowl and if you don't it's just going to be hard on the bottom and it's never going to solidify the rest of it because the rest of it's the oil so you constantly have to be turning i mean some people do this i used to do that and i just let it turn on its own building up heat. Now, if you want to get more liquidy, you could have left it the way it was before, mixed it a little bit, put it in a bottle, and then used it like, a, like an oil. I prefer more of the body butter texture, and the reason I use the coconut oil and the rice bran oil is because I also want moisturizing aspects of it, so it's two for one. Uh, and the cocoa butter, I mean the shea butter as well. Hold on. I just want to smell it citronella man that is such a strong scent do i have rose oil oh i have jasmine jasmine oh that's my peanut butter um jasmine all right so give me a second i'm actually gonna go to my room and get some jasmine oil because i really don't like the smell of this and it's the citronella and it was my fault no deal Sorry for the delay. So when I was in Thailand, I found a manufacturer of essential oils. Because when I go places, I don't just, I mean, I do vacation, but I'm always doing business. Always doing business. Um, so I'm gonna put like the whole thing because I really don't like the smell of it. And this is like a lot of essential oil. Normally I wouldn't do that, but I really don't like the smell of this. And I'm putting it in pretty late. You should have put, I, I should have put it in earlier. But hopefully this will help. Alleviate some of that citronella scent. It really should be put in much earlier before it starts to solidify into white peaks. Like it should be cool, but but not this peaky. So let's hope that it infuses well into the mixture. See how it's turning into like a body butter? I love this stuff. I think it's so cool. Let me see if I could wipe off the camera a little bit because I feel like it's like a little glowy. Yeah. Do you see? Is it better now? Yeah. So you can kind of see how it's turning into like a whipped butter. And I learned this all by like reading because back then they didn't have YouTube. So like I looked up how to make shea body butter and I looked up the ingredients and I bought it and then I just tried it in my kitchen and my cousins were like, you know, my test market they, they were my testers and they loved it so then i started selling it and people loved it and i love doing this but not all day every day so to me i think this is okay it's very oily it looks very firm but it's not it's actually pretty oily and i'll show you So it looks really firm. It looks kind of like whipped cream or um, frosting, right? But then when you put it on, it blends in. It smells so much better with the jasmine, thank God. But you see that there's still like a white sheen to it. I put a lot of zinc oxide in it. So I'm gonna put some on because when I drive, I always get this arm gets burnt. Not burnt, but it gets darker than the rest of my body. So I just want you to see how it like goes on. And it smells good because it's jasmine. So I, I would find jasmine is a good one too. Um, whichever scent that you like, look up which ones are natural insect repellents because I wanted to do two for one. Oh, hey, girly. I got to drive to Queens African Museum to get my laptop. So if you want to. Oh, cool. So I'm supposed to hang out with my friend. She just left me a message. Don't know if you guys can see that. Uh, yeah, I like it. So that is my quick tutorial on how to make your own sunscreen slash insect repellent body butter. Um, 
What I'm gonna do now is, okay, so let's just recap. I'm gonna put it in, in a jar because it's really thick. But I think I might actually put some in this one with a cap because I feel like when it melts, this will be really good to keep in the car. Um, I also have the Josie, I always keep and recycle these bottles. This looks like this because I put it in the dishwasher. Don't do that, I learned the hard way. But I also have a Josie Marin uh, body butter container which is in the car which I have to bring out and I think I'm gonna put that in that container. I really like the jasmine, like FYI. Um, the peppermint is gone and the citronella is gone. So the jasmine took over. So next time I'm just gonna make it with jasmine. Um, I'm also gonna start selling the essential oils that I'm importing from um, Thailand on my site as well. It, when I say I'm gonna do something, it takes six to 12 months to actually do it just because it's a process. So like I'm saying it now in June, it probably won't be out until December or June of next year. My Etsy store, Myers Body Care. You can go to MyersBodyCare.com now. It's like, I bought the domain, but it's just not up yet. Um, but yeah, I'm gonna start making my products. They're all handmade, they're all natural. There are, um, don't stock up because they expire, so you buy as you may, but they're probably gonna sell out quickly because I only make small batches, because I'm doing this at home. Um, all the products are made with lots of love. Um, and I remember, this one is just shea butter. I like the white one because it doesn't smell. It's technically refined. I mean, it does smell. Maybe it just didn't smell when, when you mix it. It smells like shea butter though. But I got the white one because I don't really like the yellow one. The yellow one is too greasy and oily for me. Um, so I got the white one. I put some citronella oil in it, which I don't recommend. But I'm just telling you what I did. Put a lot of peppermint oil in, which is okay. And now I'm in love with the jasmine, so I think I'm gonna do jasmine. And I'm gonna try and buy rose and geranium. Well, I have rose, but the rose I love so much that I, I wouldn't use it in that just yet. I would probably wait till I get more because I use the rose as a perfume. Um, and I also use the rose in my water as rose water. So you can actually take the essential oils that I'll be selling, put one drop in a jug of water and use that to like cleanse out your intestinal system. I recommend jasmine and um, rose. I like rose the best um, for that. And I use zinc oxide. So what's in here is shea butter, coconut oil, rice bran oil, um, jasmine oil, and then I use peppermint and citronella, which I'll never do again. But this is part of the experimental phase, so it is what it is. Um, and then zinc oxide, you know, and I just did everything based on like feeling. I don't measure anything. Um, when I start like making them and producing them, I probably will measure them, but I doubt it because <laughs> it's like, it's not from the heart then, I guess. Peanut butter jelly bellies. Oh my God. No, not peanut butter. Popcorn jelly bellies. These are so good. Tastes just like popcorn. But anyway, that's my tutorial. I hope it helps some people. And I prefer to have it this peak like texture versus the liquid. Have fun. Enjoy living a natural life and having natural living, which is kind of like what I'm promoting. I'll probably start my own YouTube channel called Myra's Body Care later. Um, but we'll see. Bye.